Hello, and we are live on WKDW 97.5 FM Real Community Radio out of Northport, Florida. You are listening to us off the Bishop West Real Estate Tower. Thank you, Bishop West. And you're listening to Kaleidoscope of the Arts. And I am one of your hosts, Marie Labras. And who's our other host today? Hi, my name is Didi Gozzi, and I'm from the Northport Art Center. And thank you, everybody, for the privilege of you taking your time to listen to us today. We are live on the air. Thank you, John Rawlings, because I have his equipment at my house so we can go live today on air, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. We're live on all of you. And if you're at lunch right now well sit back and enjoy our show today our show is going to be a little bit different and why we don't have a guest today because Dee Dee and I are your guests because we're going to talk about the things to do in the art communities around the area in Sarasota and Charlotte County and uh, there may be a few other areas that we'll throw in there but because we are known as a cultural coast in uh, Florida, that in the Sarasota County especially, it's, it's beaming, it's drooling, it's dripping with arts. Right, Dee Dee? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why uh, we want to recall that the cultural coast got a lot going on, more than a lot of places in the whole United States. Absolutely. And in in case many of you don't know where to go find out information about what's going on in the area, we're going to give you an education during this hour to actually educate you. Where do I go and find out what's happening? What are the different areas in the area? And when I was doing the research, and I've been doing this show since 2015, I found more other areas that I wasn't even aware of dating wow. and going, uh, oh my word. Uh, there is so much here to do and here to see. And if you're looking for ways to go to a festival, what kind of a festival? If you want to get involved in the arts in any way, and just as a viewer, because I'm more of a viewer than I am a, a participant in the arts, yeah. you know, I, I enjoy the arts. It's not that I'm an artist myself. Maybe someday I will do that, but truthfully, it takes a lot of time to and dedication to put into the crafts that, you know, and what I'm talking about is craft. If you're a performing artist, it's considered a craft. If you're a visual artist, it's a craft. If you're a literary artist, that's a craft. You, that takes time, Dee Dee, and yeah. you, of all people, know that because you are a visual artist. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And it, it, it was many years of school, but it was something that I was drawn to. So I believe all artists are drawn to whatever art they choose, whether it be music or singing. Uh, they're drawn to it when they're children, and then they're just perfecting it as they go along. And as you're talking about that, I do have an art. It's the gift of gab. <laughs> there you go. You got it better than most. <laughs> the radio show is, a, is actually an art form. And, and, and uh, to be able to do interviews, to ask people different questions and to pull that out, I've always had that. I don't know if it's a talent. Everybody thought before that it was just too inquisitive or nosy or that, but I always was curious. I had that curiosity about people because it's people that make the world go round. Absolutely. Even, yeah, there has to be a person behind the art and behind any anything that goes on in the world, there's always somebody behind it. So I've always been curious about people. That's really but, good. That's really good that you're like that, though, because that also helps the person that's talking because you kind of lead them in a direction of that they might not formulate the idea of what they should say, but then you bring it out of them and you bring the story out that they might not even realize. That's well, wonderful. And I have been known to draw things out of people that they didn't, <laughs> didn't want to say. Fact, they didn't want to know. <laughs> people 
Not <laughs> off the air because they were under, um, they couldn't talk about it, but I was able to get them to talk about it. Oh, so. yeah, Barbara Waters. <laughs> <laughs> and I had uh, um, a person from the CIA, and he called me up, and he said, Marie, could you take the show down? I talked about things that I shouldn't have. I'm under contract. You know, I guess. Oh, my. Then I had another um, uh, literary artist, and he said, Marie, how far does your show go? I just had family call me up, and they were furious about what I talked about, about one of the books, because it was based on a... Um, uh, cheating husband in the family, and I, he, he talked about it, uh, how he came up with a, a name of the book in that, not realizing that we're international. You know, we go oh, worldwide. Right. When when I, when you're on social media or if you're on our uh, on the internet, we are international. Anybody can listen to us, and this show has seventeen thousand listeners. So. Believe it or not, who out there is listening? If you want, you can send us an email at mariakdwradio.com. If you want to, uh, you know, even be invited to be on our show because we can, the, the format that we use, we can get anybody from around the world on the show. That would be fun if we had somebody that was a listener that called in and uh, wanted to have a show of their own. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, and absolutely. And wouldn't you love to see an artist from Japan or China or Australia come on with us, Dee Dee? Oh, my gosh. That would be lovely. You know, we have a Zoom class that Sherwin Wynn teaches, and she's had people stop in and be in that class all over the world, from Australia, from England, from South Africa, because they all are part of uh, – a Facebook uh, International uh, Scratchboard Society, and they hear about it, and they join in from Northport, Florida, from all over the world just to join in on an art class. So that is pretty fun. It's amazing in today's age that uh, we can do these kind of things now. We're not all boxed in. <laughs> and, you know, COVID, COVID sucked. However, we all had to adapt and learn new ways of doing technology. So that was one good thing that came out of COVID. Now let's go and I'd like you to talk about our sponsor because without our sponsors for all our different shows or even for different events, you couldn't have them. And one of the most generous people that we have in the area is Wendy Namak. And Dee Dee, take it away. Tell me Wendy about Namak is our sponsor. Uh, she is from, her business is NAMAC Portfolio Investment Professionals, LLC. Her website, everybody, please go and visit is www.namac.com. Her phone number is 941-429-2911. And her email is easy. It's wendy at namac.com. Wendy Namac has been a strong supporter of the arts here in the city of Northport and many other nonprofits actually. And Wendy is a great, great person and, and really helps elevate our city. So thank you, Wendy, very much. Thank you, Wendy. And Wendy's always been generous, no matter who, who or what you're causes within the community and around the area. She isn't just limited to Northport. Let's talk about the Northport Art Center. We're going to start out with the Northport Art Center because we'll be done with it then. And then you don't have to listen to that portion because we're going to go around the area and bring up and how you go and find some of these things that are going on in the area. And uh, Dee Dee, let's bring up the Northport Art Center's Facebook page here. Okay. And, okay. And tell me about different things going on and I'll scroll through so we can see. And uh, this is an event. Uh, what's your story that's being put on, but you're advertising it for them. Yes, we are. And uh, we also, we, we support all arts. So the Northport Poet uh, Workshop actually meets here at the Art Center uh, the uh, last Tuesday of every month. And they were the ones who brought this to our attention. So we made sure that everybody in the 
community that looks on our webpage can know more about this. Uh, Charlotte County Libraries and History Writing Contest, What's Your Story? And it's storytellers and writers are invited to share only original fictional stories in 1,500 words or less. So uh, we thought it would be actually kind of fun if uh, our, our literary artists had joined in on this. So we put it on our web page. Uh, that, that's the one. No, let, uh, you were, oh, and here is us. <laughs> <laughs> it's promoting our collective <laughs> art show. <laughs> uh, one of the things about our show is when I schedule them, they pop up on all the different uh, social media sites that, uh, announcing that we're going to be going live. So you can be looking at the Northport Art Center. You can be looking at WKDW 97.5. You can look at my own personal page and YouTube and Twitter. So out there, you should get notified and you can probably like us and uh, it'll notify you when when those things are happening. Now, tell me about this Zoom class. You're talking about Cheryl. Um, that was the one I was talking about. Yes, we have actually three artists from Australia joining this class. We have at least two, maybe more artists from the UK joining this class. People from Canada join this class. People from that I know of. Uh, Oregon has joined this class. They're from all over um, Arizona it's kind of crazy how many people find out because the International Scratchboard Society is actually a pretty tight knit group and they do, uh, they do keep uh, touch with each other and then they join each other on the Facebook page and Cheryl happens to be a member artist of that group and she has a class and in this particular time, uh, July 12th, 19th, 26th and August 2nd, it's four weeks of uh, one between one and a half to two hours of class. And it's a very reasonable price, $40 for the whole entire session. And that is an actual photo reference of what they will be learning or doing an animal eye. Last month they did human eyes. And this month they're learning how to render animal eyes and the reflectiveness and doing a realistic study. So um, that's they grow and grow. This class is amazing. Matter of fact, we just talked about at what point uh, does she have too many people? <laughs> <laughs> but they all get individual instructions. They all share the art that they created each week with each other. So um, it's a great class. It's a great class. And uh, for our listening audience, if you want to go and take a look at what we're looking at, you can go to either Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, um, WKDW 97.5 or the North Port Art Center. I'm looking at this picture that is done with scratchboard that I you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they get this realistic look. That's how good they are. That's how good these artists are that they can uh, produce um, a piece of uh, a quality piece. Wow, it, amazing. Okay, tell me about the art raffle. The art raffle we do every single month. This particular uh, raffle is in our lobby right now the actual original pieces that's only a dollar uh, a ticket and go into a basket and each reception we do a drawing and somebody wins a piece of fine art from a local artist uh, we've had all of our artists donate different pieces in this particular month we have angela latrieri and angela it is uh this friday the 8th that the winner will be drawn and then we have raven sky mcdowell and then we also have monica friedrich um, these are pieces of art this one's a photograph this one the other ones are uh paintings that's what's this month and then we'll also unveil the new ones for next month we used to do the drawings at, a, at the radio show but yeah, on our show personally it's better off to be done at the receptions because that way there's live people there and yes. somebody will get really excited like i won yay <laughs> you're absolutely right. Right, right uh talk to me about this cheeseburger in paradise by jimmy buffett um 1978 but it's a reception of the artwork this Friday, July 8th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. It's free and open to the public. Bring a, fan, a friend and join us. Are you going to have cheeseburgers? 
I don't think so. I uh, believe that we will be having Karen's charcuterie board, but who knows? It might be cheeseburgers. Because well, Karen surprises us every time. Well, it could be sliders, Karen. Hint, hint. Yeah, who knows? Well, Maybe that'll happen. Karen is I'm finally a lovely well, culinary artist of the group. Yes. I'm starting to feel better. So um, who knows? One of these Maybe you'll come. That would be lovely. Up. Um, okay. And then um, there's stained glass here. Yes, this, uh, this, coming up? this is Patty Vale. She holds our stained glass classes. She has an assistant, Natalie. Um, they have them every Tuesday from 1 to 4. Now, the Thursday, it says on the schedule 9 to 12, but whenever there is art camp in session, she has to have that in the afternoon also, the 1 to 4, because the art uh, students are using, the children are using this classroom so the adults have to go over there so we have to kind of juggle things around but patty does it year round every week there is stained glass classes so please if you're interested in doing stained glass she has a lovely class and she's been doing been a teacher for many years okay um and that's pretty much what you have going on this week yes correct correct yes the reception is our number one thing and then uh we are at wellen park um on the 13th of July with the with the Wellen Parks doing a new um, paint parties at the Wellen Park, but it's actually oh, filled, cool. so we don't have to talk about it too much this time, but we're going to be doing it again in August, helping out Wellen Park with the artists and the, uh, and the pieces of canvas pieces. Cabernet and canvas is what they call it. Okay. Well, Dee Dee, uh, very interesting of what's going on. And talk a little bit about the children's program because it's sold out, right? Oh, yeah. Well, right now with the children's programs at the Art Center for the summer camp, yes, they are all filled. Every week is filled. Uh, this week of July 4th was the one week that we didn't hold it. We were closed for the children's camp. But every other week we were filled. Um, they go through August 6th. Then Labor Day will start the new year of classes, and we'll have the free Saturdays again after Labor Day weekend. No, well, yeah, when you're talking about um, the different things with with that, um, there's an adult class coming up too. The which, adult summer camp, yes. Yeah. We just uh, we're gonna we're putting out a newsletter today, and there is a piece in there about what will be happening. We have in August seventh uh, will be the first week of adult summer camp. It starts at two o'clock. It's over at five. There are two art projects each class and there will be refreshments served in between you go to one do an art project have a little break refreshments and then go to another art project it is along the same lines as the children's summer class but this is for adults it's give mom a break it's after church dad can watch the kids and the moms can come in and if there's no kids dads can come too Grandmas can come, bring everybody, and have some fun. Yeah, and bring some wine and things to drink. Well, we <laughs> yep, yep, that's all part of it. And it's the seventh of August, the fourteenth of August, the twenty-first of August, and the twenty-eighth. Each week has a different theme, different projects, something fun to do. Okay, and if you were going to be gone one of those weeks, that's okay. Oh, of course, you can just sign up for one week or sign up for all the weeks. It'll be on our, okay. it'll be in our newsletter announced, and it'll be out later today, and it'll be on our website. Okay, very good. Well, let's go to another place. Oh, if you're looking for places to do things, we're going to go to the Arts and Cultural Alliance. That is the Chamber of the Arts up in Sarasota County, and one of the things that uh, you can go there is connect and see the. Uh, when we're showing some of these different websites, if you're a member of the Arts and Cultural Alliance, you'll be listed in here. And even when we go to any of the chambers, you have to belong to those different groups to be listed as part of that. And I wanted to talk first about the Arts and Cultural Alliance of Sarasota County, because I know that the Northport Arts Center belongs to it. And uh, they have a calendar uh, that goes on, but we have Jim Shirley, who's the executive director of the Arts and Cultural Alliance, come on our show once a month as a co-host, and he brings all these different 
um, you know, executive directors and people that are involved in the different, uh, yes. different, what are they, um, different organizations and that. Yes. So, so once a month, and it's always the third third Monday of the month that he we do it live, and then we air it normally on Wednesday. We normally don't, don't do a show live on the air, uh, but. This is actually a good location, and it's sarasotaarts.org. That is the website, sarasotaarts.org, to go to that website, and then you can see what events are going on. And I'm going to bring this up because they'll, they'll have events or different things going on. Now, it's, um, if for those of you that are viewing our website well, and Facebook page and YouTube page and that while we're here, we're bringing all this up on the screen, and I want to—I would like to show everybody how to look at this because it's a little bit tricky. But if you hold your mouse over like Avenue of the Arts, uh, it tells you a little bit about it, and it sh shows that it stop, starts on a Sunday and that, but it'll give you dates like here: the Pop Juried Open Call. May 11th through August 7th, and it tells you a little bit about what's going on there. And then uh, Summer Art Camp, and these are at different locations depending on who submits the calendar. And Dee and I were talking about that off air, that you have to, if you're one of these organizations, you have to submit it to the calendar. So some of them are missing, and that's why a lot of times they try to capture everything, but if the organization does not submit it, um, yeah. you know, you don't know that it's happening if you're going using that as your website. And looking here, Athena, June 10th through July 10th, 7.30 p.m. to, and then one on, on July 10th at 2 p.m. So it must be a Sunday, but it is a, um, at the Urbanite Theater. And Dee Dee, you and I, when Jim did the show with the Urbanite Theater, you and I weren't even aware of the Urbanite no, Theater. No, you're absolutely right. And it was a great story, too, on how it grew out of uh, the younger people coming in from college and having these ideas and how it grew that Urbanite um, that was Theater. It was a wonderful story, too. And I, you can even go back and to look at it still in our archives. It's a great oh. story. Absolutely. And here the Florida Studio Improv presents Comedy Lottery, and they have a lottery that um, uh, you're able to uh, just go to the website and because we'll take up the, all the time just reading all of this stuff. However, this is one of the areas to go and look up what's happening in the area. And Dee Dee. Yes. Were you aware of all these? No. Matter of fact, I'm real curious about that lottery. <laughs> See, that's you're bringing this up, and I didn't hear of it. And I'm like, what? Let's go try that out. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, Florida right. Studio Theater, they do uh, improv. Improv. Um, uh, they do an improv that anybody can actually go into improv, because I can do improv. That is how I started comedy for a cause is I learned how to do improv and that anybody could do it. And I went to Florida Studio Theater. They have a, an event that they have teachers that come in at, um, during this festival. And it's, it may have already happened. It, I thought it was like in July or so during the summer. And they come in and you learn how to do different techniques with improv. Uh -huh. And then the Florida Studio Theater does have an improv group all the time and this is what they're talking about with the lottery seeing as you're curious Dee, Dee will talk to the audience about this it's a lottery where everyone wins 12 lucky audience members determine the fate of our team of highly adaptable improv improvisers uh, by selecting the night's lineup from florida, florida at studio theater's bucket of over 50 different improv games once the night games are chosen, our cast of funny people will be off to the races and uh, doing the different sketches. And one of the things is when they're doing this is the first time I ever did improv, and this is just for everybody out there if they really care, or I had taken improv classes here. 
But I went to New York with a bunch of my friends, with a group of my friends, and there was a gal that I, that's a friend of mine that does improv. She, at that time, was doing it in Myrtle Beach, and she did it all the time and ran an improv group, and she wanted to go to this improv club that they had open improv from 11 to 12 at night. And uh, anybody could throw their name in the bucket and you may get pulled out and get um, invited to be up on stage to oh, do fun. it. And um, lo and behold, we each threw each other's names in there. And, <laughs> and both of us ended up getting pulled. Well, I had never done improv on stage. Here I am in a New York stage with these uh, professional artists that do it all the time. And it's my first time ever doing it. They were so kind and they led me through it and walked me through. And I that's where my idea came. If I can oh. do improv, anybody can do improv uh, because it's learning to think quickly on your feet it really is but you train for it and a lot of people don't realize that that you have to train to do improv because you have to learn how to react and there's a you it's a yes game you you don't set it up for the other person to fail it's always you know you don't do it so it makes it look that's bad. a good point yeah so so gd yes for people that want to look Go to Sarasota Art Stug or no. While I'm bringing up our other places, Dee Dee. Yes. Because I would like to talk about different things. Talk to me about what's happening over in Englewood that we were talking about earlier off air. Well, it's the Englewood Summer Market, I believe July 18th. Uh, they're having, it was a juried, um, a juried art show that uh, artists had to compete to be in it and our beautiful Michelle Moore with the Bone Boutique uh, was uh, selected as one of the artists that will be showing at the Englewood Art Center. I do not have the times right in front of me so maybe that's something else we could look up. Well, to. They can go to the Englewood Art Center. Uh, Absolutely uh, yes. That, uh, the Englewood Art Center is part of the Ringling Museum. Uh, yes, well, they're very fortunate that, and we're very fortunate that the that, that classes that they hold there are accredited classes. So we're yeah. all we all can go down there and take classes at the Inglewood Art Center. It's a beautiful art center. Well, we're going to take a look at the different areas to to check out, as I have been already stating. And one of the really great areas to look. And right now I'm in Sarasota County and we'll be coming into Charlotte County okay. in a little bit. But, uh, and as people see me messing around on the screen, that's because I'm uh, handling all the tech in the background. Uh, visit Sarasota. No, I did not realize this until I went and started looking. Visit Sarasota is actually part of the Sarasota Chamber of Commerce. And when you go to their website and i actually am bringing up the arts and museum part of it and let me go over to that so people can see what i'm talking about uh there's things to do and i'll go back to that so you can see as you can see up on the screen you'll see there's things to do in the area and we're looking for the arts and cultural uh, museums and galleries and then there's nightlife entertainment and festivals it breaks it down for you and like i was saying before they have to be part of the chamber area although visit sarasota beaches and beyond may may be a little bit different because they're encompassing everything that's going on there we're in charlotte county under pureflorida.org or com that's a uh, separate visitors bureau than the art one oh. the chamber here but i'm going to go back to the art museums and galleries and when you look here do you want to even know what what is available in this area nice because, yeah fine arts cultural and galleries discover sarasota tours now if you want to see what's going on in the area in sarasota around the city of sarasota 
they do have Discover Sarasota that they do trolley tours there. In Charlotte County, we used to have the Green Hibiscus. Yeah, and I used to be on it, yeah. I used to be a, a trolley dolly on there, but unfortunately, Greg had sold it, so mm -hmm. there's not a trolley going around right now. But history, I know history. And then the Circuits Arts of Conservatory. And if you go to um, visit sarasota.com, you can find all this information. And uh, we're just going to briefly just tell you that these things are out there in Sarasota and the area. And there is so much to do. It would take you a lifetime. And I have not been to all of these places myself. Marie Selby Botanical Gardens, downtown Sarasota and a historic Spanish Point campus. Now, for many of you, if you've been here in the area for many years, they used to be two separate um, entities. But Marie Selby Botanical Gardens, downtown Sarasota actually um, took in the Historic Spanish Point campus because of financial reasons. Uh, Historic Spanish Point was struggling and, and Marie Selby's, the two of them combined and they really have the same mission, uh, preserving history and working with history and the, the botanical things. And if you've never been to either one of them, take the time out of your life and go see them. They're really, really great places to go. And uh, the one thing during COVID too, the Marie Selby Botanical Gardens, because people could not do indoor events. A lot of the time we offered to all the nonprofits to be able to do some of their events outside there. So yes. kudos to them. The Jazz Club of Sarasota, the Florida Studio Theater. And uh, Florida Studio Theater, those people are equity. Equity means that they get paid to do what they're doing. So when you do go to these different events, when you're going to the, like the Charlotte Players of the Players Theater of Sarasota, that's community theater and those people don't get paid to do that or uh, Venice Theater. Venice Theater sometimes brings in a couple equity oh. actors, but for a lot of people to realize that that is for the love of what they love doing. It's just that they can't make a living at it. So, um, you know, it's hard to make a living in some of these jobs, as you know, Dee Dee. Yes, for artists, starving artists. Yes, uh, starving <laughs> artists. And then the Sarasota Opera. And how fortunate for an area to have all these different Places Absolutely. to be able to go, and then the chalk festival that comes up at the Venice Airport, and that um, that already has happened this year. But you can go to the website and actually learn a little bit more about that. And Mabby Gallery, Ringling College of Art and Design, the Venice Art Center's in here, and the Key Corral which is up in Sarasota, the Sarasota Contemporary Dance, the Urbanite Theater, McCurdy's Comedy Theater and Humor Institute, the Tulsa Court Art Association. And Dee Dee and I were talking about this. I was not aware of this place. And Dee Dee, uh, what, what is it? Do you know? It's an artist community. It is a, uh, a, a village of studios that artists rent out and they create and that is where their studio is. And then they um, hold, it's a tourist attraction too. So people could come and view the art. It's all in an area that you can get, be inspired by all these different artists all at the same time. It's a walk through. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I, I, I would love for our area to have something like that. It's, and look at the pictures. They have little lights at nighttime. It's very beautiful. Uh, it's just amazing of all these different things around here that you're able to do. Um, the Van Wazel, the Art Center in Sarasota, yes. the Sarasota Orchestra, the uh, Sarasota Contemporary Dance, International Ballet of Florida. Nice. Uh, uh, La Musica de Oslo, the Sarasota Ballet, the Van, okay, Corral Artists of Sarasota, the Players Center for Performing Arts, the Venice Theater, 
I think we already said that. Yeah, they have a few. No, you didn't say Venisteria. Yeah. yeah, Architecture, Sarasota. And I didn't know about that. Oh, we, wow. The Historical Society of Sarasota County, the Sarasota Film Festival, the, okay, Lemon Bay Playhouse, the Clyde Butcher Fine Art Black and White Foot Photography, the Sarasota Art Museum, and they took the old Sarasota High School and revamped it into the Sarasota Art Museum. Have you been there yet, Dee Dee? Not, no, not, no. I, I, I used to live in Sarasota whenever it was all uh, fenced off and they were renovating it, but uh, I haven't been there, no. And WSLR, which is our sister radio station up in Sarasota, and they have Fort Fogartyville, which is a, an upgrade of our common grounds where they have food and, and entertainment that comes in there. And a shout out to WSLR because they are community radio too. And then the Sarasota Orchestra, like all of these. And uh, the Sarasota Medieval Fair. If you've never been to their Medieval Fair, and they used to have it at the Ringling Ground, but uh, it's been at the, um, their arena there um, oh, okay. quite a few years and that. And I love dressing up in medieval fair costume. I love going to that. And having the turkey. <laughs> uh, Art of Series, a series Concerts of Sarasota. And uh, so just for a lot of people to know, um, you know, to go to these different websites and you can find out what's going on. And um, one of the other things, they have like events going on here. And they ha uh, will um, show like they have a sum Sunco Summer Fest that's going on right now till July 14th. They have the International Dragon Boat Federation. Um, club crew world championships from july 15th to july 24th wow. my daughter in fact um jimmy dean's son is uh with the olympics now and he's out of there and he does crew and he's doing crew at harvard my daughter did crew at mit and that a uh, crew is actually where you have the long boats and everybody's rowing together and that and yeah my son did crew yeah oh did he okay. yeah don't we learn a few things about each other? <laughs> these shows? So th that's one of the websites to be going to. And again, that is visitsarasota.com. So you can see different things going on there. Nice. Yeah. So Dee Dee, so far, yeah. have you learned anything? Oh, I sure did. I, I learned that I don't get out enough. <laughs> you and me both. You and me both. Uh, Dee Dee, talking about getting out. Do they still have the Van Gogh? Oh, like, the one in Sarasota. I don't know if it's still in. Uh, going on at the mall. Yeah, I have to look that up. Yeah. Um, that, that was beautiful. You know, oh, my. Tell our audience about that. I think it still is. I think they actually extended it. Yeah, I was there a couple months back, but I didn't even expect it. It was a gift to me from Michelle, and uh, she bought me a ticket and took me up there. And I did not know, I didn't know anything about it before I got there. So it was quite overwhelming, inspirational. It was absolutely beautiful. The music was amazing. The art and the color, the stories as you're walking through. She actually did record us uh, walking through it and experiencing it. And it is up on our YouTube channel for the Northport Art Center, a little yeah. glimpse of, 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 of experiencing it. But yeah, I'll tell you what, it is, it is something that if you are a fan of Van Gogh, you have to go see if you're any kind of fan of art itself it is so immersive and it's all around you and it is a true experience it's it's inspirational um there's a story as you're walking through the beginning it's a uh, true um, actual letters that he had written between him and his brother so it kind of gives you a background before you actually get into the room that has all the art pieces larger than life in it and it blends and it and it and it merges with other things and and it uses pieces of the paintings and and creates this whole atmosphere and it's just um, overwhelming 
overwhelming. It's just amazing. And anybody who has an opportunity to go should go. And it's all over the United States in all different cities, uh, versions of it. So, um, Very good. Okay, we're coming into Charlotte County now. And if you go to Charlotte, oh, let me see what their, um, they are, their website is charlottearts.org. This is their calendar of events that come up. And I wanted to show Dee Dee that ours shows up here on Wednesdays. We go like here to more. There's quite oh, yeah, a that. Uh, radio show. And it, uh, it talks about Dee Dee and I being on the radio show here and uh, what we do here. So in case anybody's listening and really would like to be on our show, just reach out to us and uh, we will definitely get you on our show. And uh, Dee Dee, you and I don't have a Facebook page because Marie has too many. Fa you know, I went and looked up the other day. I'm like an admin, like a 20 different Facebook pages. And I go, oh, yeah, that's crazy. I only, I don't even take good care of any of them. So, um, and I don't have to do all of them. But if you go here, now they have writers on the air here. Uh, even though they do the taping for that on Tuesday nights at Common Grounds Meeting Hall, you go and sign up at 5.30. They tape it from 6 to 7, and then they air it from um, on Sundays at 3 o'clock. And that is something that's done through the radio station. And we were able to do it during COVID this way, that DD and I are taping right now or streaming. So... Uh, now they still do stream though on Facebook, so on Facebook Live, so you're able to do that. But uh, this is one of the other websites that you can go to. And I know our show's almost over with Dee Dee. We have about fifth, uh, no, not even fifteen minutes, about ten minutes left of our show. Okay. Yeah, and Dee Dee, Dee Dee, tell the audience you were real concerned about just you and I doing the show. I didn't think you could fill a whole show with things to do, but quite honestly, we didn't even get into Charlotte County that much. No, we're well. We will be doing that right now because Dee Dee, do you know where to go if you want to find out what's going on in Charlotte County? Oh, uh, did you just show us? No, I will. I mean, there's another place to go to. That's Charlotte's art. But here is the one that um, they do actually a really good job here um, at Charlotte County. It's called pureflorida.com. And it's Charlotte's County website for the Visitors Bureau here. Oh, and, nice. Yeah. And as we're bringing it up on the screen, this is actually at the, uh, um, do you know where this is, Dee Dee? Have you ever been there yet? Um, is it the one where it has, it's right on the water and it's got the walking path through, I can't remember what the name of it, it has oh, a sculpture. River, a botanical and sculpture garden. Yes, I, I actually, before it opened, I went to something that was presenting it down in Punta Gorda and it was amazing. All the sculptures and things from all over, artists from all over the world. And they have so much, to do there and i'm i live in charlotte county i've lived here for 34 years so there is a i actually 35 i came here in 87 so it is 35 years wow. on august that i have lived here uh the peace river botanical and sculpture gardens the sea grape artist gallery and charlotte players the Punta Gorda symphony vasani's italian steakhouse and comedy theater let me tell you, they have some of the best food around and comedy. They have comedians from all over that have been on every um, stage in the country. They, uh, in fact, in fact, they had um, with Jimmy Fallon, I, uh, one of the the performers. I've been to Saturday Night Live. I've been VIP at different things over the years, and I get to meet different people. And I was able to um, do an interview with one of their guest artists that was there that was part of um, Saturday Night Live, which I oh, met cool. 
and we had pictures together at this time, but we also had um, some pictures of us before. And then the Punta Gorda Historic Murals. And the sad thing is we're not, uh, there is a walking mural tour that you can do, but who wants to do heat and walk around in that? And there's, um, there's 30 historical murals. It costs between uh, 15 to $25,000 for them to do these murals. And uh, there's their historical murals, which that which means that there's a story behind each one about the history of the area or Punta Gorda in these murals, and they are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. They are, yeah, and then the Punta Gorda History Park is actually the Punta Gorda Historical Society has um, taken some old buildings, has them has it there. They have a farmers market on Sundays. And uh, that's actually a lovely place to go in their gardens, and they have a public garden next to it, too. Uh, the, the Hatch Gallery, and I'm not familiar with that. Artisan Atelier of Punta Gordo, and that's an artist. Um, artist Studios. Yeah. yeah. That's what um, Helen is. Yeah. Okay. Military Heritage Museum. If you've never been to the Military Heritage Museum, get your butt in your car and go there. It's well worth a trip and going there. And they have a theater within there called the Gulf Theater. It's down right now for the summer. I think they have a few airings of um, different movies and stuff going on, but it has performance art there. The Visual Arts Center is just on the block from the Military Heritage Museum. And that is like your sister, the Northport Art Center. Yes, it is. It's beautiful the art center. Center. And that started in 1960. That has a history in itself there. And then the Blanchard House Museum of African American History and Culture, and they have a farmer's market close to it. It's not their market, but they have a um, market that's going on on Friday afternoons at the Bailey's Park. And the thing is, it's a Bailey's brother. Some of them, there were seven brothers, and they were part of the Tuskegee airmen and um some of them were and then the port book at grand lighthouse and museum and then the charlotte corral so those are different things that you can do in charlotte county and then they have events that you can go weekly happenings and see what's going on in the area for the week <clears throat> and they have um the downtown farmers market there and the history park uh market and then the englewood has a farmer's market every Thursday, October to May. So those are the things that are going on on there. Now, oh shoot, I took, I, I clicked off the wrong thing, Dee Dee. So, uh -oh. okay, so where are we at time? We only have a few minutes left. The one last place that I wanna share with everybody, and Dee Dee, I want you to talk a little bit about um, <clears throat> Where do you, where would you suggest for people to um, put up events that are going on? Where do you look? Oh well, um, the Year Sun is a, a place I always go to because it has events from the whole area, and it's not only uh, physical events but it's also uh, virtual events. YearSun.com, and that's one of the places that we can uh, uh, submit our events to um the other place that uh visit sarasota that you had I, that was a perfect place as far as i'm concerned because any person that comes in our area as a tourist uh, going to a, a website is the best place to go because you get the most information i do know there's a lot of uh, neighborhood uh, facebook groups that post events that are going on in the neighborhood too. But I would usually go to the website, like um, the chamber, you, they list uh, local events at the ch our chamber website and the Your Sun. Those are my two favorite places to go to. And of course, knowing you, Marie, I hear all about things going on in the area also. Well, um, one of the things that I had it up on the, uh, on here and I, lost it. I clicked on the wrong thing. But if you go to your Facebook page and there's a place that you can click on that says events, uh, you can click on that and it'll give you the opportunity to look at what's going on in the area for events. 
uh, and view your upcoming events. But I, okay, <clears throat> I have it here. Now I'll bring it up on the screen real quick because we're almost done with our show. And if you're just tuning in, you're listening to WKDW 97.5 FM Real Community Radio out of Northport, Florida, and you're listening to us on the Bishop West Real Estate um, Tower. I'm going to bring this up real quick for all of our listeners because we have to go off air um, in a few seconds or minutes. And if you can see... Discover events. Uh, yeah, it's Discover Events. And one of the things, if you go to your Facebook page, if you look on the left-hand side, um, it... I clicked on events and it'll show me any event that uh, somebody has listed in our area um, that is coming up. And if you want to see what's going on for just this week, you can click on just this week <clears throat> and you can see. I'm going to kind of skip through here and I want to talk about the community mural project with LA-based artists at the Englewood Art Center. They have that coming up. Uh, this this week, actually, Friday and Saturday of this week, and anybody can participate. And this is an amazing thing. Now, they're doing it on what, contrary to the way that you guys did it on the building and stuff, but this is being done um, from, let me see here. Uh, if you only have a few minutes or a few hours, all the pro uh, things are being, all the products and everything that you need will be uh, supplied. And it's from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Englewood Art Center in Englewood. So if you want to be part of a mural that's going to go up on a wall with an L.A.-based um, artist, uh, go over to the Englewood community, uh, the Englewood Oh, there's my Hey, wife. look who's there. <laughs> uh, yeah. In fact, uh, Seth, Seth Radeski and James uh, Wesley just popped up on my screen here. Uh, it's uh, whose birthday? Oh, today is James's birthday. Um, and I know these two guys, they helped me actually set up that I could stream. So that that's crazy, huh? But... For anybody out there, we do have to end. I really am uh, very grateful for you taking the time out of today to come and actually listen to us on WKDW 97.5 FM Real Community Radio. It's been a pleasure for you taking your time out of your busy day to be with us. And Didi, we yeah. always have our program with you have choices in life. What are yeah. they? We can choose to be kind or not to be kind, but we should always choose kindness. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody. See you again next week on Kaleidoscope of the Earth. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. You 